Midjourney just released version 5.2 and in today's video we're going to be exploring how to create some awesome vector logos with this new version of Midjourney. To get started we're first going to go to our settings and we're going to make sure that we're in version 5.2 and we are so we can go ahead and start with our first prompt. So for our first prompt we have a modern line art logo design with a tent and mountains in the background, minimalist, black and white. So our first set of results is looking really, really solid. Here's those uh, first four and here are two of my favorites upscaled. And this is a really great starting point. We can just easily add some text here, which I'll show you guys how to do um, in just a little bit. So really good start for version 5.2. I'm really, really liking the detail and also just the clean, crisp uh, nature of these logos. I'm not really seeing any of the abnormalities or errors that were a little bit more apparent in past versions. So let's try out another prompt. So for our second prompt, we have a minimalist illustration logo design for Yellowstone National Park, Buffalo, and mountains. So here are our results for that second prompt, and these look really, really incredible. I love the colors. And here it is upscaled. Here's one version um, that I thought turned out pretty good and here's another that I think turned out even a little bit better. So really, really good start. Let's try another prompt. And for this prompt, I just wanted to keep it really simple and try a logo design for a zoo. And we're gonna let Midjourney do a lot of the interpretation and I just wanna see what it'll come up with. Okay, so here's what it came up for for the zoo logo design. Um, truthfully, I'm not loving these. I actually did run this prompt one other time and this is how it turned out. I like these a lot better. So this one was a little bit hit or miss, but let's go ahead and try one more prompt and then we're gonna move into the vector conversion. So for our last prompt, we have a colorful logo design of a bird perched on a branch, shapes, minimalist, and modern. And here are our results for that last prompt. And once again, I think these all turned out pretty nice. So now what we're gonna do is work on converting these logos into a vector. So. First, what we're gonna do is switch over to Canva. I've created a blank 1024 by 1024 pixel canvas, and we're just gonna wanna click upload, and we're gonna upload one of our favorite logo designs from that set that we just made. So here I've got my favorite of the logos. We're just gonna click on it and place it on our canvas. Awesome, so we've got our logo design on here now, and now it's just time to add some text. That's really all this design needs. So here, all I'm gonna do is click add a heading. I'm gonna change the size to around 65. We're gonna slide this down just a little bit. And here we can look for a more suitable font based on the style of design that we have. So I think this Lovello is gonna work really nicely. And we're just gonna put in a little sample name there. We're gonna say Pinnacle Camping. I think that works pretty good. And We'll center that and then I'm just gonna duplicate that same one, put it directly under it. We'll make this a little bit smaller. So let's say 35 and we can just say something like established 2023. And if you want to change the font on that second one, you could. I think I will probably leave it as is. And maybe we can add something simple like a little line on either side of this text here. So we've made our line, we're just gonna duplicate it, put it on the other side. And I think this looks pretty nice. I don't think those are quite lined up. There we go, should be good. And this is really all there is to this part of it. So now all we're gonna do is click share and we're gonna download this image as a PNG. So here we have PNG selected and we're just gonna click download. So next we need to turn this image into a vector. And so that's where vectorizer.ai comes in. So just visit vectorizer.ai and all you have to do is drag your image on here and it's going to convert it into a vector for us. So you can see here, it's going through the upload process and this is all in real time. This literally took like 10, 15 seconds max. And if you zoom in, you can see now on the left, oh, sorry. On the left, we have our non-vector image and on the right, we have our vector. So you can see here on the left, it has the pixelation, it gets a little blurrier. On the right, it is crystal clear. And you can see that even zoomed in a little bit further. 
And now it's as simple as just clicking download. And so we've downloaded it. It gives us a couple of different options and I'm just gonna click download because I think that's good to go. And now you have your SVG, which is a vector logo and that means as big as you make it, as small as you make it, you're never gonna see those pixels. It's all um, based on curvature and shapes. And that's really all there is to it, guys. So that's how you can create some really, really cool vector logos with Midjourney version 5.2. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more AI content coming soon. Thanks for watching.